Mark the Movie Man here, the final cut at the Northeast Wisconsin Horror Film Festival in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, and I am here with director Adam Shabow. Did I? Uh, Shabo. Shabo. Thank but, you. you know, close. <laughs> <laughs> Director of New World Horror, a feature film that showed here at the Northeast Wisconsin Horror Film Festival. Now, um, it's I, I think this is probably one of the uh, more politically charged zombie films I've ever seen. Uh, going into this story, uh, were you ever worried that maybe you were coming up with something that's just not going to agree with you know some of the people in the audience because <laughs> of the political views expressed in the zombie film? Uh, Yes, I did think of that, but um, I also thought about um, my my whole family's uh, conservative, um, and and my dad is pr really conservative. And he's in the movie; he plays the conservative uh, guy who's talking to the blogger, and then he's a zombie later. And they all went to the premiere and ended up really liking it. And I so I mean I think the idea is not about left right it's more about extremism um, and, and you know that's just the undertone to the the politics of it it's meant to be more of just a, a fun time um, and that just is you know thematically just something that we played around with yeah also uh, you have a diverse cast of different cultural points of view and you mentioned in the Q&A that you were kind of initially went into this uh, making it a little bit maybe more a messagey thing. Was that part of your decision in these characters that you wrote? Uh, yeah, because I wanted, I, I didn't want it to be preachy and I didn't want it to, I wanted to have ha, ha, the audience to have empathy for everyone. Right. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter, you know, because it ultimately doesn't matter, you know? <laughs> um, you know, we're all humans. Um, and so, so yeah, and and then it just, when I was writing it more, I was just thinking, this doesn't, it just was getting more too preachy, and sure. I didn't I didn't want that. And so then I just kind of, uh, at the end of the first act, I kind of shifted it a little <laughs> bit, and then made it, um, you know, still having that theme under it, but, but played around with other themes as well. Now, how long did it take you to sh uh, find the locations? Did you have some already in mind? Uh, I know you touched on it a bit in the Q&A, because uh, it's all around Wisconsin, but I know location shooting, ca uh, choosing can take some time. Yeah, I, it was hard. <laughs> there was a location, uh, we had one of our producers, Sarah Bartash, helped me um, just find locations if there weren't any. And like I was saying um, at the Q&A, that we did, uh, we shot in the historic Paps tunnels, which was really kind of a big deal for all of us. It was, it was something that was really neat. Um, and then, you know, we shot um, in the Capitol in Madison, outside the Capitol in Madison. We kind of snuck in there <laughs> um, and shot. And uh, and then we shot in Mazomania a lot. We just were all, we were all Appleton, um, so we shot all around. Um, and it was and I don't know how much time it took. I mean, I guess we were kind of doing multiple things and juggling things at the same time. So I'd say during pre-production, throughout the whole time, so maybe six months. And you are in front of the camera as well as behind the camera. Yeah. What kind of challenge did that pose, being a, a indie production? I well, first of all, I did it. Um, for the only reason of logistics, because I knew that um, I would need to uh, adjust scenes occasionally or just shots, so I can quick put on my wardrobe and quick be Russ and come over <laughs> here and say, "Hey, I'm I'm in the seed," and then you know connect it with right. something else, um, another shot that is shot you know two months right. later, you know, and make a scene out of it, and so or and I also didn't want people like hanging from a balcony, which is something I did. <laughs> I felt bad that if someone fell, but I, if I fell, it wouldn't have been that big a deal. And so, um, you know, things like that, uh, I won't ever do it again, because <laughs> it was just too much of everything, sure. but, mm -hmm. and I'm not an actor or anything, and so um, there are people much better than me in acting, so I, I would prefer now just to have other people do it. <laughs> And what was the biggest challenge for you? Uh, you said you shot it over four years, but uh, what was the biggest challenge over the course of the year, uh, four years, uh, that you would say that uh, you faced? Oh, my gosh. Post-production was way more work than I anticipated. Um, I'll, probably audio. Audio was the biggie. We lost some audio, so we had uh, ADR stuff 
um, which I don't really like doing. So there's some scenes that have ADR in it, um, and then uh, and then you know just just the grind of da you know everyone doing their daily work and family stuff, and then finishing it. So we you know this took us four years. We started in 2014 filming on June 1st, and then you know in April of 2018 that's when we wow. finished. Well, that's when our premiere was. Sure. So, well, I won't keep you anymore. Right. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. You I bet. Appreciate it. Thank you.